Ooh. Now this, I know some of you are gonna love. So, Final Cut Pro and its massive file sizes. How do we deal with them? Well, here's a super quick tutorial on how to get your file sizes from this to this. Let's go. So as you can see, my project is here and the file size is massive. 185 gigabytes, that's massive. So how do we get this down to something more usable so we're not clogging up our hard drive? So first things first, open up your project. So all you need to do is open this up, simply highlight the project, go to file, delete generated library files. Then you're gonna have three options available to you. So what Final Cut Pro does is in the background, it renders your project as you go along. So this makes it a lot easier to edit with but it also creates some massive file sizes in the process. If you're a bit like me and you don't have much storage space, but you want to continue with the project, but you can't because your hard drive is full, then all you need to do is check the top box for the time being, which is delete render files. By deleting these render files, it means that you're able to reduce your file size and continue on with your work, and then when it fills back up again, just go through the same process again. However, if you finish your project and you're unlikely to come back to it for a while, then you're going to want to check all three of those boxes. So that's delete render files, delete optimized media, and delete proxy media. Now, of course, if you've not made any proxies, it doesn't make a difference, but you can still check this if you want. So in this instance, I'm going to check all three. So I'm going to select the top one and all, and then delete optimized media and delete proxy media, and hit OK. Let Final Cut do its thing. And there we have it, that's done. Let's go and see how big the file size is now. And now we've created a file size of only five gigabytes, much more healthy for the hard drive. Well, that's it, a super quick tutorial on how to reduce your file sizes easily in Final Cut Pro. How easy is that? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, bell, all those things, and I'll catch you in the next video. What do you think to the lockdown hair? need a cut yet. I think I'm going to keep it. Start putting it in ponytails in. Or just wear a hat. Much tidier. <laughs>